Hi guys. In the past 72 hours, the sporting world has experienced significant changes, including the surprising interest of a top football player in the Saudi Pro League. Previously overlooked, the player's curiosity was piqued by the numbers and headlines surrounding the league. While not Neymar, who remains a target, a substantial offer has been made to lure the Brazilian. Only a handful of top stars, including Cristiano Ronaldo, currently earn over £50 million per year, a staggering amount that surpasses the salaries of entire squads like Luton Town in the Premier League. This development signifies a game-changing moment triggered by Ronaldo's initial move and the rise of the LIV Golf Project, highlighting the transformation of the sporting landscape. Saudi Arabia aims to dominate the world's primary cultural pursuit, driven by social programs and a desire for recognition as oil resources decline. Golf serves as a fitting example of this strategy, with the sport divided to accommodate Saudi Arabia's involvement. The country has followed a playbook that includes sponsorship deals, funding initiatives like the FIFA Club World Cup, purchasing Newcastle United, and now revamping the domestic league in preparation for hosting the World Cup in 2030. While the overhaul of the Saudi Pro League could enhance football's development in the region, it is challenging to separate this initiative from the wider political aims of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The ambitious plans for the league have attracted attention from football industry figures, who believe that it could eventually rival League One and Serie A in terms of high-profile prime stars. However, the sudden eruption of offers and negotiations in the last few days has created chaos, with numerous intermediaries claiming to represent the same clients or clubs. Amidst the confusion, Lionel Messi has agreed to a deal in principle with MLS franchise Inter Miami, leaving the Saudi Pro League to pursue Neymar as their next major target. This potential new world in football aligns with the global popularity of the sport and the contrasting hosting of the next two World Cups by the United States and Saudi Arabia. While the USA, Canada, and Mexico are set to host the 2026 tournament, Saudi Arabia is the frontrunner for 2030, coinciding with the centenary of the first-ever World Cup in Montevideo. Despite concerns over human rights, Saudi Arabia's financial power and strategic partnerships make their bid formidable. Many view the reshaping of the Saudi Pro League as an intriguing and foreboding move. It serves as a potential template for autocratic states buying stakes in leagues, following private equity groups' previous attempts to do so. Even the Premier League may not be off-limits to such influence, as football continues to grapple with the consequences of short-term greed and long-term political objectives. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more updates. Bye.